The next piece of Finis swimming equipment I'm going to talk about are the agility paddles. These for me are another staple in my swim bag that I use and I like them for multiple reasons. First off is the no strap feature. So for me this then really helps keep my position in the water. So for me instantly I get you get instant feedback every time you put it in because if you get it in the water and you move your hand moves it's going to fall off. And so when I'm tired or fatigued I can notice I start to drop and the paddle will come off so I know instantly I've done something wrong. So when you really get into that rhythm, you're able to get it going and position the hand in the place you need it to be to then pull through. And you also have, it makes you really keep the water all the way through till the end because if you stro stop the stroke halfway, it'll come off or tilt to the side. So I feel like you're always just getting that instant feedback and then you're getting the pulling benefit of using a tool for pulling. And then the other really cool feature for this for me is a lot of times when you put those huge paddles on your hands, you take them off to then do your rest of the swim set, and oof, I don't feel I don't have good feel for the water. I feel like my hands are slipping through, and you just feel like you've gone backwards almost. And so with these, when I take them off, I actually feel really good taking them off because it's really put my position in, and they're not these huge paddles pulling this water, but it's almost a setup tool where you are getting that benefit for extra power speed while still being able to transfer over to normal swimming. Another thing about these agility paddles is they're not specifically made for power speed strength. They're made more for giving you a little bit of that paddle pull, but more for the technical side of it, to set up your stroke with a different kind of power and find the feel in the water to then transfer over to more natural swimming when you're over to in the proper hand position and elbow position that you're supposed to with this. So it's more of a guiding tool than more per se, like you go and crank out a pull set on fast time power set. Um, it's more for the technical side of pulling. And it's also, I find these a lot less like fatiguing on the shoulders. So if you're someone too who has a lot of shoulder pain but still wants to be able to get some pulling benefit with another tool when you're doing a pull set with everyone who have those huge paddles, these are great ones because they definitely take the load off in a different way because it's setting you up properly. When you have those huge paddles and the reason why you get the shoulder pain is you're actually not pulling right and it's too much on the improper shoulder but these set the stroke up right so you're not getting the same shoulder pain that you might get from your standard paddle. So I highly recommend these if you have shoulder pain as well. Another great feature of these agility paddles is how they are strapless. But then also for if you're doing a tight turnaround set where you're alternating between swimming and pulling, you reach for the bag really quick, grab it, put them on, slide them on quick, and you're good to go. I find when you have those strapped ones, you're there, you're scrambling, and then your one hand is not free and you're going, but you can instantly put these both on, bang, bang, zoom, zoom, off, go. It's a matter of like a second or two rather than the straps. Probably the main drill that I need to do with paddle, with these agility paddles, is sculling. Because for me, it has to, you have to have it set up right. You can even see I'm struggling here, but like when you're in the water and you do it right and keep the feel for it, you really have to keep the hands in the position that they're supposed to be because if they slip at all, they come off. So it's the way that you're getting instant feedback with sculling. And again, sculling with these are not too much pressure on the shoulders versus if you use other paddles because it's a way of a tool but it just really finds that proper hand position that you need. So that's one of my number one drills with the agility house.